The purpose of this video is to show you how to uh, upload and publish a document or book that you have uh, written and I am using createspace.com it's a free service you can pay for a, a bunch of things to enhance it but basically you can get it totally published free so when you put in createspace.com you come up with this page here and you'll notice that I already have an, an account which I can log into but I'm going to act as if I don't so you see how to go from the beginning so the first thing you do you can explore and see what some of these other things tell you is a good place to learn about it but I'm going to start a title for free and when I click on that I come up with this page and this is where I start putting in my information the name of my book is going to be Thoughts of a Morning Walker uh, Volume 2 so I put the name there and it's a paperback so I put that there and if I scroll down it says choose a setup process of course I'm going to do the guided step-by-step -step process because that's what you'll be doing and I click on that and it's working and it now comes up to this page here this is what if I went in as a expert I would end up here also so I've got my title in it and then I can put in this information here which I'm going to do now okay I've added the subtitle which you don't really need to have in my case this is what it is and then the primary author I'm not putting in my real name I'm putting in my pen name which is secret course in now the account and everything is in my real name uh, added contributors are uh, if you had other people that actually wrote parts of the book and you want to give them recognition if you look at that you also have a, a number of other uh, things that you can put in there um, you can take a look but most of you are just writing a book by yourself so it's not important mine is part of a series I did thoughts of the morning walker volume one this is going to be volume two which I didn't put in but I will uh, and uh, this is the first edition so English and I picked this date I believe I can change the date later I don't know if I'm going to get this completely published today but I don't really care either because this is good enough for government work so to speak and so once you've uh, done all of that you're ready to move on and I can just save it and stop here for a while or I can save and continue which is what I'll do you will notice you are now with the what they call the I SBN number this is required to publish and distribute you've got several options here where you can do a custom custom universal etc uh, but the create space will assign you one and it's for free and I by far that to me is the best option I also want you to notice over here that on the setup it's taking you through it you gave them the title information now you're doing the ISBN number and then you can continue and we will continue on down anyway if you get a real publishing company I mean some company is going to absolutely advertise and do all this stuff uh, and market it uh, you can still do that and uh, there won't be a problem so you're not hurting yourself by getting this number I, I don't see the benefit of paying money but then what do I know uh, so I'm going to move down here and uh, Pardon me. Now that I've uh, said that I'll take that number, what I do is I go to the next button, and that brings me up. If you'd like to have unsaved changes that you can be lost, or you sure you want to leave this current section before saving? Oops. Uh, I didn't see where saving was an option. Oh, here you go. Uh, assign free ISO. Yeah. So now, I, now I saved it, and it's uh, being assigned. Uh, so I I am with that and now I guess is when I move on yeah so I'm gonna go to next and here's my uh, it's working on the interior now if you guys want to use a lot of colors that's fine of course I'm very simple so I'm doing black and white and by the way if you do colors it's going to be more expensive because uh, well, it's not going to cost you any more, but the book's going to have to sell for a lot more when they actually start printing, and you might not get the same amount of profit. I mean, I don't know how all that works. This is important. This is the size I did. I just pretty much went default, 
and you, you can read about this. Now it says download a word template to work. I guess it has all the prerequisites here. I'll show you something about that a little later uh, or in, a, in another uh, uh, little uh, video. I stopped the video and decided to go and look at the formatted template and I think that's very nice. It's in Word and that's not the way I did it but I spent a lot of work trying to format uh, my book so that it would fit within the, the confines that it's supposed to. If I would have done the format template, it would have made it a lot easier for me. And if you use the formatted template, you can just uh, cut and paste your, your stuff from whatever it is in now into that template. So that's something you might want to do. But anyway, after your book is done and it's been formatted like you want, you really got two options here. Uh, you can upload your book file or you can work with a professional. This is going to cost you money. Uh, it can cost, it starts at 199. God knows how much it goes up to. And I'm cheapskate. You know, if you got the money and, and you want to do it that way, that might be the better way to go. You'll notice that I already uploaded the file and I'm going to upload it again because it had some errors in it. But, uh, you will have, uh, it'll have you ask you to browse for the flat file or to upload a different file now that I've already done it. So here I go to the browse. This is what you'll have originally. And when I hit the browse, uh, it actually takes me to where I'm supposed to be because I've been fooling around in there. And I'm looking for the Morning Walker V22. That's the, the latest version that I think has all the errors taken out of it. I might have to do this several times. You come down and you hit save and that's when it's going to start the working to do the uploading. It's going to take a while and then you can preview it. I'm going to stop this and then when it's done doing the processing I'll, I'll show you the previewing on it. It is now uh, checking the print and it's telling me I can start working on the cover. Well, we'll go through all this and then we'll do the cover after that. So you'll have this and like I say it's going to take several minutes for this to be worked out. Okay, you've noticed that it has completed the task and it says our automatic uh, print check found two issues with your file. So that means that I have some problems there that I might want to look at. Uh, and it gives me some more information. I can upload a different file if I want, meaning if I make improvements on the file or do the changes they suggest. Well, let's go look and see what they want. I'm going to go launch the interior review and uh, it again gives me some uh, information that I might want to look at and I know what the, the, the problems are. One of them is, is the quality of, of, of uh, a picture which I don't really care about. Uh, it's not the cover or anything else but this is the front of the book and I can start looking through it. Now also if I, uh, if I can scroll, I don't hate to have to magnify this. Let me see. Okay, this is, uh, let's see if I can get this thing working where you can see it. And to do that, I'm going to actually have to drag this over. Okay, you see right here, it, it's saying that uh, the fonts are missing from your file and, and we've replaced them with the default. And there might be some problems. So I'm going to have to check out their font. font. I put in some characters in, in some of the words. And I think that's what they're talking about. I'll check that out. And then it says your file contains uh, images. Well, there's one image that is a drawing. Uh, I did this before. I checked it out. It's fine. I, I'm happy with it. But it's just letting me know about that. So I'm going to do some uh, review on this right now. This is the... the uh, a diagram that I put in, and you notice it has that mark. That's the one that will say might come out blurry, but like I say, it comes out fine. The text looks fine too, so uh, I'm going to be happy with this and move on. Now, something that you need to also realize is you can have your book done, and, and in fact, if you find errors in it later and you want to make corrections, it's very easy to keep everything like it was. Just upload the, 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 the file that you, you worked on to fix it. And it'll take about a day for them to have it all up and running again. So uh, it's really a neat thing that they have there. Anyway, I'm going to stop it and then move on to the cover. 
I'm ready to work on the cover now and you'll look over here where you can get your step by step. I did the title information, that's okay. I did the ISBN, that's okay. And now I'm going to do the interior. Now that there's, it'll show, when I preview the interior, it'll show what it showed before, but I've checked it and, and I'm happy. I think this will work well. So now I go to the cover and that's where I am now. And I have a choice of selecting a, a matte or a glossy finish. This is going to be a paperback. Now I happen to like the matte, so that's what I'm going for. And then if I come down here, I have two choices. Uh, I can do a professional cover design, and I think that if I check over here, it's going to cost me money. Yeah, starting at $3.99. Upload a print-ready PDF uh, cover that I've designed. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to build the cover using their tool, which is free. And, you know, that's for me, that's good. So I click here, and now it says launch the cover creator. So I'll do that. And that brings me up here where I have different uh, covers that I can look at and use. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of them, as you can see. And this is just on one page, and I've got a total of five pages. I believe mine's on page three that I'm looking at. I know it's up high. So, of course, you get to look at and select whatever you want. But uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to do all this. Okay, I'll go to next page and there okay I was wrong it was page four this is the one I want for mulberry so I'll click on that and it's going to take me to where I can work on that design I have completed my cover and now I'm going to go over it very quickly with you uh, this is what it looks like and I may change it again I can have a book on sale for through Amazon for quite a while and make changes and within there so it's done it's a step-by-step -step process the first thing you do is you pick your your, your theme and uh, I picked the, the the cover I wanted and now I can make different uh, uh, texts and, and, and I actually like the charm so I'm gonna leave it like that you can look at it if you don't like it you change it when everything's done right it'll give you a, 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 a green button there once you've done it and of course, the, the, we went over the title, and I could have changed that. I think we went over some of this already. Uh, name. And we just keep moving down. Uh, this is the cover picture, and it says it's a low resolution image. And by the way, that's why it's a light green yellow. It's telling me, yeah, we're not sure that's a good idea, but I'm happy. I, I know it'll work, so I don't really care. Uh, go to the next again. Same thing with the author image, which is not very good. I may change that later, but for now, it, 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 it's satisfactory. I, I mean, I don't really care if anybody says how I look anyway. I'm pretty ugly. Uh, so I'll go to the next. Uh, and now we're talking about uh, what I say about myself. So you do this in a word processor. You copy it, uh, select it, and then you can paste it in here, and it will put it in for you, as you see. Uh, and then the next thing we're looking at is what uh, now we're doing the dividing line it, it, it's just step by step uh, back cover quote I put a cover a quote in there you know whatever you want to do uh, you can delete that if you hit invisible hit get off the visible it just goes away uh, publish logo I actually did hit the invisible on that because uh, there's no publisher except me uh, and then uh, it, just right down the line, I changed the color. I had a bunch of options here, and I picked the one that I wanted. Uh, that's a front cover box color. It's this one here, but I also changed the, the color of the of the book. I mean, I missed that. But, um, and restore. I can always go back to the original color. That that's the color of the text uh, here. You see. And like I say, maybe somebody get, get somebody that looks at it and says, Mickey, that's horrible. But anyway, so I've gone through them all, and now I'm ready to uh, submit it. And so I'm going to submit the cover, and I'll let it work on that for a bit. After I submitted it, it brought me back here, and then of course you see the cover is not shown as complete because I haven't saved it. So I come over here, click the Save button. And now it'll, it'll do that. And it's got it covered. Uh, and I can go to complete setup to complete the setup. 
The only thing I have left to do is to complete the setup. As you can see, everything else has been checked. And I can look over all of this stuff and read it. And there's, you know, I might have some questions, whatever. But I'll submit file for review, files for review. And as we're going through the workings on it, uh, what I'm going to do next, and that was quick. Once I hit submit on the uh, setup, it brought me to here to calculate what I want to sell the book for and that was the completion of the setup that did that and I'm going to go to distribute uh, and it says you know I have action required uh, I need to come up with a, a price so they've got some minimums here we've got the, uh, in the US this is Great Britain and this is Europe and uh, if I sell it for 597 I get nothing because basically that's what all their costs are so if I wanted to make a you know, hundred dollar profit, I would do one hundred and five ninety seven. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put in eleven ninety five and calculate that. See see what kind of uh, profit I get. It doesn't really work out exactly like you think it does, because uh, but so I did calculate it. And I will make three dollars and fifty nine cents of profit per book that I that I sell, and then I get one point seven pounds or three dollars and twelve cent or three euros would be three twelve, and so I'm happy with that. <clears throat> and I'll go down and submit it, and I just wait. Uh, I can buy the books myself uh, for less and. Uh, I'll show you where you can do that in just a second. If I wanted, if, let's say I had my own store or uh, I wanted to sell them out of my whatever. Anyway, so I've got pretty much everything done, or if I haven't, I can go do it. But, you know, I can do a description. I can publish it on Kindle, which is an uh, uh, ebook, and I'll do all that. But I think I've got you far enough along that you should be able to figure it all out. The last thing I'll do is show you how you can. Uh, uh, actually buy the book yourself and it will be for less. Well, this is the next day and uh, I guess I lied to you because <clears throat> it's a little bit more than just uh, showing you about how you can order your book. But anyway, after I uh, submitted my, my uh, file, did, did the submitted the file, uh, I had to wait. They wouldn't let me do anything. And it usually takes, le it's always less than 24 hours. This was more like about 12 in the morning it ended up happening. But I got a congratulations from uh, Create Space. It was telling me that my stuff is checked out and everything else. Now I just need to do a final proof and submit it. And so that, that came to me by way of email. Now, <clears throat> when you log into Create Space, and I didn't show you how, how to create an account. I'm sure in there somewhere they said you got to create one. You did. I mean, that's usually the way things go. You notice I have two books. I have uh, Thoughts of a Morning Walker. That's the original one. And that's available. And then Thoughts of a Morning Walker Volume 2. And it's a waiting proof order. And it wouldn't let me, it didn't say that before, but after they gave me the email, I could do that. Now, I'll show you how you can order. If you go over here, and it will say uh, order copies. Now, on this one, since it is available, is a, uh, and I go into order copies, I can order as many as I want. Uh, my cost to buy this book is two seventy nine, and I'm selling it for eight something on Amazon. Now, if I go through Amazon, I only get about two dollars and some odd cents uh, money return. However, I can order as many as I want here. And the only additional cost of the 279 is for shipping. So if all you wanted to do was uh, give the book to friends and this kind of thing, then uh, you just, or family, you know, order maybe 10 or 20 copies and then do what you want. Also, if you know somebody that might sell them for you, maybe you have your own store or whatever, you, you can order your books for a lot less directly to you, and then you can put up whatever kind of profit you want. Now on the, the this says it's available, and once you have uh, accepted the final proof, you can go to Amazon, and within about two hours after you you've done the final proof, and I'll put in uh, thoughts of Morning Walker, and this and this is the book. So right now you can buy it for eight ninety five, 
you saw what it was costing me a whole lot less. So I could, uh, like I said, if, if I went to a store that would sell it for me or if I had my own kind of business, I could do pretty well on that, you know, charge whatever I want within a reasonable amount. Uh, when you look at Thoughts of the Morning Walker 2, it is, uh, it'll only let me order, this is more expensive because this, because this book is about a hundred some odd pages more than the other book. Uh, but, uh, if I go there, I can only order five because these are proof books, uh, for me to proof. Now, if I go back to the dashboard or where I came in, in originally, now you'll probably only have one here, but it says a waiting proof order. So I click on Thoughts of a Morning Walker 2, and it brings me here. And, and now it says, this is added. Uh, proof, proof your book. This action is required if you, if you want to sell it. So I click on this, and maybe I'll click on it. Okay, it comes here and says, review is complete. You have filed successfully. All you need to do is proof it. And then say everything's okay. Now I, I've got, uh, I could just approve it right now, and, and that's the final thing. But uh, I want to do a view a digital proof or order a printed proof. Now this is going to cost you money and you're going to have to wait for it to come, but some people like to have the physical book in their hands. But we'll go back to viewing the digital proof. And uh, we'll do the, the so we can. Uh, download a PDF or we can launch it and I'm going to launch the digital proof and that brings me to you know we've been through this before if you can remember when we were going through it the first time before we submitted it and it will eventually get me there okay get started so now there's my book and <clears throat> I can look at it uh, there's the back cover the front cover I'm looking at that print. I might think that print is a little too light. Uh, maybe I want to change it to, to a different color. I don't know yet, but that, that's something that I might decide I want to do or not. Uh, and I come in here and start going through the book. And one thing I notice, because I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to actually do some modifications and then do this again, which means that probably tomorrow afternoon I will be able to uh, order my books. Uh, or go to Amazon online and buy them. But th this particular chapter, the words are way too long, so I need to change the wording there. And also, I think I want to have a, a page in between this, the Thoughts of the Morning Walker, oops, wrong, wrong direction, uh, and my acknowledgments, maybe where I can uh, autograph or do things like that. And then I can go through the process of, of looking at everything. And uh, decide, uh, you know, check it out. So if I want to it, it met all the requirements, then I'll go to the next step, which is to exit here. And I'm going to have to take the pull this down. You can see which is a download a PDF proof or exit digital proof. Okay, so I've gone through it. So now I'm going to exit this. And when I click on exit. It's going to take me to a place where uh, I can now uh, order a print. Well, no, uh, I've already done that. I, I can approve it. So now instead of prov uh, approving it here, I'm going to make changes to it. And then I will do all of this over again. And the way I do that is, uh, let me get this where you can see it. I'm going to scroll and you can see make changes or, uh, approve proof. If you do approve proof within about two hours, it'll be up on Amazon.com like, like you saw mine was. Uh, and you just need to put in the name of the book and you can go, go see it. Or, as, as you saw before, you could actually order uh, ever how many copies you want, but I'm going to make changes, so I'm going to click here, uh, and it'll, yeah, okay, but uh, I'll take care of that for myself, but if you just approve yours, <coughs> you're done, and everything works uh, exactly as you want it to, and, and uh, you will be happy, so that's it, I hope this helped you, and uh, I hope you do it, it's a lot of fun. 
Bye.